hi, hoi hoi, and everything else in between. Uh, another guitar's heading out, um, so I thought I'd do a quick demo video for Daryl. Um, I like just doing it in general anyway, just to make sure they're all set up, and set up and ready to go. Um, but this one, as you see, scuff series because I'm trying to get through a load of scuff boxes that I bought as like a bit of a job lot. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just the actual like you know facings of them are a bit more beat up and whatever. Um, I decided not to beat this one up more because I think over time as it gets played, it's gonna just get more battered, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, in terms of like general specs, butterfly hinge, uh, bolt bridge and nut, um, single coil pickup in this like weird middle position. Um, it was purely just down to what the um what the pickup had and i thought you know what i'll put it in the middle i'll see how it sounds if it sounds rubbish then you know no big deal right um and i actually think it's my favorite position for these types of coils um i don't know why i've done them in the neck and the bridge position and it just doesn't have the same sound as what this does um don't be wrong like i said before i'm not a massive fan of single core pickups um just preference it's like anything else with these things well, this definitely sounds beasty in its position. Uh, timber, we've got ash. Yeah, ash neck, ash heel. Um, I think this is a pine fretboard from like an old um, like bench slats, I think it was. I think uh, some furniture at some point that was put up in this house. Um, <laughs> that's just been dark stained. Um, yeah, and it looks, looks to me, it looks pretty, pretty aight. Uh, nice open back tuners. Um, yeah, there's not really much more to say on that front. Um, like I said, our hand profile, all the necks and everything, so they're like nice to play. These are fretless instruments, more burnt frets on the top. Um, I like to try and make, uh, in my opinion, like um, a sort of affordable entry level slide CBGs that you can get going however you sort of like. Um, I started on a fretless, um, and yeah, I'll, I will die on the hill that <laughs> I think it's how, I think it's the funnest way to play and learn. And then if you know, if you get into it and you start wanting fretted ones, there's so many blokes that do really awesome fretted instruments. I own a couple myself. Um, but anyway, in terms of this thing starting up, so like I said, uh, this is a bit of overdrive, and I think this is where this sort of guitar really sort of like comes through. Honestly, like this is the first single coil one I've made that I'm actually gutted to see. <laughs> um, I'm always gutted to see him go. Uh, my wife won't let me keep them all, but um, I just I think something about this middle position is, is really nice. where it really shines <laughs> um we'll clean it up a bit on like a bit of a electric lead setting it's all like presets through my Roland mobile cube so just to give you an idea of how you know same sort of riffs
Honestly, I do uh, a bit of distortion as well, why not? We'll do the same again. I feel like I repeat a lot of my riffs, but it's just, it's more that like, like at shows, I prefer to do repeat riffs so that people can hear a difference, but anyway. <laughs> So I hope this finds you well, Daryl. Um, yeah, I think it, it's. I'm, <laughs> I always it sounds stupid. These were like the first sort of ones I did with single coils, and I didn't know what to expect. But this is definitely my favourite that's heading out. So thank you very much for your custom. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, I'll get this packed and shipped to you ASAP. Right, ciao.